hey what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel and uh, this is uh, this is going to be a short video so the purpose of this video is that someone asked me this as well and uh, i also faced the same issue is like you know there can be two kind of uh, application one will be built in debug mode and another will be built in release mode so the thing is that uh, i have this util file where i have a url which is uh, you can see this is https uh, pavan.live so https uh, pavan.live is uh, the link for my website so it's not the case i'm i have just put it because it's a live url so um in my case what i want is when i i am in a debug mode then i want to change this url to uh, something else and when i go to release mode then um, uh, i have to change this url to pavan.live so you can check my website by the way uh, if you'll visit this link so um what it is all about so it, it is about that you know uh, uh, right now i have to manually uh, you know put some url here let's say http uh, localhost and uh, colon 8000 so what it will do when i am in debug mode i know it so i am putting this url and uh, if if i'll move to release mode then i'll change it back to this but the thing is that sometimes you are always uh, like you are in a hurry and you have to release a new version of your app and if let's say you forget to change this url then it can be really dangerous for you so that's what i'm gonna explain that how you can do it very easily how you can check whether you are in a debug mode or in a release mode so as you can see this is a very normal app let me just delete this code and here we have uh, two text one is saying showing that this is debug mode and uh, second text is showing your url is this so as you can see this is debug mode and my url is set to pavan.live which should not be the case okay so what i am going to do in the util class or wherever you want we can make a method which can check if we are in debug mode or in a release mode and we can change our url so let's make a variable here a string basically mode and we can set it by default uh, let's say uh, release okay so uh, and then we can make a method let's say check debug mode okay so this is the method and now how you will check it so basically there can be a very simple way of doing this you can use this assert which is basically which runs only when when you are in a debug mode so if let's say this is the case we can use it like this and then here i can do something like if this assert uh, qualifies like if it is in debug mode then this assert will execute and here i can change the url to let's say https and uh, not https just http localhost colon 8000 and we can change the mode to debug okay that's it so um what it, it is doing it is changing this url to this and mode to debug and now in the main dot dart i can replace this debug by my mode so it, it will be fine in the util class dot mode and same the util dot url is here and then if i'll refresh it then you can see because we are running in debug mode it is still showing me this is release mode and the url is also released because we are not checking for it we have uh, by default it is the mode is released and the url is uh, pavan.live so what we will do in the main dot dart before run app we can run this util dot check debug mode and now if i'll do the hot restart then you will see then now uh, I, I guess i have to rebuild the app okay let, let's just close this app and now we will rerun it and then we will see whether things have changed or not so the i have set the url to uh, this and mode to debug and we are uh, in the main dot tart before doing this run app method we are calling this check debug mode and then let's see what happens once this app will run in debug mode and then we will also try to run it in uh, release mode then we will see what will be the output so i guess 
oh it is say, showing that boolean expression must not be null because we need to return here so let's return true and now if i'll do a hot restart again maybe it should work yes so you can see now it is showing this is debug mode and your url is um localhost colon 8000 now i will run the same app in release mode by this command line flutter run release and then we will see what happens so now in release mode it is launching and you you will see once the app will um, reinstall it in the device then now it should show that the app is in release mode rather than debug mode so this is one way of doing it of, of obviously there can be other ways as well but this is the easiest way possible which i could figure out uh, during my uh, make uh, development of an app which I was doing for the company and yeah now you can see this is release mode and now you my URL is changed to power.live we can also um, take make a boolean here let's say you don't want to do this so what you can do maybe you can make a method static boolean cat um, debug mode let's say and here you can make assert by default you can take a variable released release is equal to let's say false and in the assert you can check you can make this release equal to true no oh, sorry debug is equal to false and here you can make debug is equal to true and then you can return the value of debug so um what we can do we can go here and uh, we can just take a value boolean value boolean let's say x and we can check if util dot debug mode what it returns so if it returns true then it is debug mode if it returns false then it's uh, um, release mode then and and you can do some things like uh, um, in release mode maybe you want to set the url or do something else so you can do that accordingly so this is how you can check that and uh, that's it about this video if you enjoyed it then like the video subscribe to the channel because that really motivates me and also press the bell icon so thanks for watching and i hope that uh, you got some kind of information from this video